So I'm Max Barkley and I'm the collection manager in charge of the, uh, the Beetle collections at the Natural History Museum, that is the British Museum in London. We have a collection of about 22,000 drawers of specimens, about 10 million dead beetles. And around 8,000 of those were brought back from the Beagle Voyages by Charles Darwin in the 1830s. He donated this load of beetles to the museum and the scientists who were working there at the time identified and described as much of those as they could and they found lots of new species which they named after Darwin and that which they were unable to deal with was put into these boxes which are called accession boxes. But as recently as 2010, American scientist Stelios Chatsimonolis was visiting and he found this green beetle in the accession material and he thought that that looked interesting, something he didn't immediately recognize. So he took it away and he discovered two things. One of them is that it was a new species of beetle, actually a new genus. Nobody had ever seen this kind of beetle before. And the second thing is, is that it was collected by Charles Darwin himself in 1832 at Bahia Blanca in Argentina. So he decided to name the genus after Darwin. So this material was collected nearly 200 years ago and has only just been named as a new species this year, 2014. So the full name of this beetle is Darwinillus sedarisi Chatsminolis 2014. That being the year of description, he named the genus after Darwin, he named the species after somebody else who he admired, who was an author called uh, David Sedaris. So he had taken quite a lot of photographs in the process of making out the case that it was a new species, which he did early this year. So apart from that, scientific photographs in scientific literature hasn't ever been photographed. Until these guys got hold of it, there'd never been any photographs that had been made publicly available. So that's quite exciting.